carpal rhino, carpal rhino, he's a viscerary. Carpal rhino, carpal rhino, he's a joyful one. Carpo is a rhino, yeah, he loves to go on ventures. Him and his bracelets on his belly, so beautiful. Him and his best friend, possibly the sheep, he always wants to go with him. And every time that they go around, it feels so perfect. Carpal rhino, carpal rhino, he's necessary. Carpal rhino, carpal rhino, he's a joyful one. <laughs> Okay, almost done, and bam. Now what are you writing? I think I'm gonna write me a whole bunch of things that I'm gonna get from the store. A whole bunch of things you're gonna get from the store. How many things did you wrote on there? Um, about like 17. 17? How many things do you even want? Well, I want a little bit of popcorn, a little bit of soda, and a little bit of, you know, meat. Oh, well, try not to buy too much things and you'll have some money left. Oh, trust me, I got a whole bunch of money left. How do you know? Because I be saving sometimes. Also, you be going to the bank and be getting some money. Yeah, but that's because of my allowance. But you're an animal. You don't even pay taxes or pay bills or get money from the banks. Yeah, there's so many things that I can't do. Oh, I just wish I was a human. No, don't say that. You're fine as a rhino. It's just that don't do the stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. Like if you're supposed to be walking on your tippy toe legs, just try and walk like this, like a normal person would do. Just try not to do that around too many people. Okay, then if you say so, then I won't do it then. You better not do that around humans. They think you're crazy. If you walk on your legs like a person, people will think you're crazy. They'll try and take you to jail. Take me to jail? I'm going to go to animal prison? Well, try not to. No! I don't want to go to prison! And that's what happens when you overreact. Learn to slow down sometimes. Oh... I just got knocked in the face. Well, stop running then. You run too fast. You know why you run too fast? You don't ever know how to slow down. So just slow down sometimes. My hands feel greasy. Why do you say that? Because every time I try to touch this balloon, my hands keep slipping off of it. Well, go wash your hands then. All right then. They still feel greasy. Oh my gosh, there are so many problems. What's wrong with your hands? They're greasy. Your hands look fine to me. You probably just need to wash them a little bit more. I know, dry them with a towel. That was a sock. Uh, that was the only thing that I had. Why are they greasy? Maybe because you're sweating. Stop sweating so much. I can't. I just get so nervous. I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping, but I'm going to do it around so many people. Well, stop being sweaty then. Stop sweating. If you're sweating, you're greasing up your hands. Ew, I can feel them already. We got to think of a plan, a good plan, how to make you stop sweating. Well, I'm getting ready to go grocery Look, if you sweat again, I promise. Quit sweating, bro. You're going to make yourself even worse for if you sweat like that. You're pushing too hard on the things that you're trying to do around other people. Just stay calm. Put your mind on something else. Like, try to think of you're going shopping and you're going to come right back out. Really? I'm coming right back out? Yes. It's not like you're going to be in there shopping for a long time. All you need is food and that's it. It ain't like you're going to go get some, like, dodge return with some service of the color city and some disintergent. You're just going to go get some food and that's it. You're right. I got to stop sweating. I'm being for real. Then stop sweating then. I'm a strong man. I can't be scared of nothing. That's the spirit. I can't be scared of no failures. Yes, you can. And I can't be scared. Uh, wait, did you just say yes, I can? I mean, no, you can't. You better watch where you come out your mouth. Ah! Continue doing yourself a pep talk. I'm not going to be scared of going to a store around so much people and I get kicked out and I can't go to food shopping and I don't want to do this. Ah! Oh goodness, oh goodness, nothing. What kind of store do you agree going to? Animal store? Okay then, that was the store I was going to all along. And you were talking about there's going to be some humans there. Are there? No! It's an animal store. It's a store only made for animals. If you was going to a human store, 
would have been kicked out. But you're saying something about some animal store. Is there even such thing as that? In cartoon world. Okay then. Then go ahead and go shopping. Nobody's going to disturb you. You're an animal just like those other animals that's getting ready to go to that store. If you was going to a human store, it would have been a problem. But an animal store, you're all right. Do you want to go with me? No. I'm staying here. Wee! I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping, 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 shopping. For some food, it's gonna be all day, but I'm gonna make it there. And Carpy said, I'm going to go to the animal store. And Posty wants to stay here, because I don't know why. Because I don't want to be around so much people. Okay. Why you rap into the store? Who even raps like that? Uh-oh. I left my list back at home. Uh-oh, my grease. My greasy hands, they're starting to come back on me. Uh-oh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because when I go inside that house, Post is going to be asking me, I thought you was going to the store. And I don't feel like hearing him say that. No. If he asks me, wait a minute, that's my house. I forgot, that's my house. Man, you know what? I thought you was going to the store. Oh, I knew he was going to say that. Yes, I am going to the store. Then go back out there. No, I forgot my list. It's on the table. Okay, step on. At least he helped me back up. All right, I got my list. Now to go shopping. Uh, finally, Carpo went to the store to go get some food for him in his house. And I'm going to sit on this couch and relax. I'm home. Um, you came back way too fast. Turns out that Barry went shopping for me. What? But how, did they, how can I go shopping for you? And you gotta pick out all the food you want. Oh, they read my mind. They already know what I wanted on the list. So they went on and got it for me. And that's how you came back fast? Yup. Well, excuse me. I gotta go put this food up in the pantries, the covers, and the refrigerators, and the freezers. You went fast! I can't even go grocery shopping that fast. Oh,